with my underarms with that towel. And then I went to open this and that brown recluse just fell out of the towel and into my makeup bag. It's a really good thing that he didn't bite your face. I'm very cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. It may be something different, but it sure does look like it. Yeah. A brown recluse, that is. Oh, he's cleaning his legs <laughs> with his fangs. Mm -hmm. So feel free to tell us what you think of this here spider. You're hopping here, would you? <laughs> Hell no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was trying okay. to make noise. Wait, 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 Jen. Yeah, don't. There it is. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't just jump on your hand. Okay. You little fiddler. Here, would you put that on there? I only have one hand. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> ah, you're, uh, you're a good spider trapper. So okay. does that mean there are more spiders around mm, here? Possibly. I mean, this one came out of an egg, and they don't generally come out one at a time. That's the problem. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure out how best to kill the colony. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> We need to burn the house down. A couple of really good ideas to, if you do have like an infestation, mm -hmm. sticky traps, you know, like little sticky insect, insect traps. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> you put, you put, the, yeah, <laughs> you put, I hate those for mouse traps. It's so cruel, but you yeah. put sticky, the sticky oh. in, insect traps where like in the, cupboard or the closet where you found one and you put also can put diatomaceous earth food grade yeah you know food grade because if you breathe well i guess you're not supposed to breathe any you're not supposed it, but, yeah, yeah if you use diatomaceous earth don't breathe it because it can damage your yeah. lung tissue yeah. um but, but it's yeah. really good for you to take internally but if you put <laughs> that down on surfaces like sprinkle it on surfaces yeah. it will kill roaches too because diatomaceous earth, it cuts up this exoskeletal body of, of insects. They, they get it on their feet, and and I think they ingest it, and it just, it's like micro shards or razors that get in their body. Mean. Yeah, it's a good, <laughs> it's a good anti-parasitic to feed uh, farm animals. And us. Um, <clears throat> and us, yeah, yeah. For, for intestinal parasites. Isn't it really good for your hair, too, and skin? I think I've heard that. Yeah. But so, just so people know that the venom of the, the fiddleback spider or the brown right. recluse is necrotic. Yeah, and it like, makes your skin just... It'll rot necrotic. your skin. Necrotic meaning death. It, it, kills yeah. your, it, kills your, it kills your tissue. So, you can, people can have festering holes. They can have... Uh, you can get sick and throw up from the bite. Yeah. Um, but like snakes, some snakes have... Uh, hemotoxin which attacks the blood and some have neurotoxin which, well this isn't a neurotoxin but it's necrotic anyway very interesting it's hard to get get healed up from something like that like yeah. it just keeps getting bigger and bigger sometimes. yes yes Whew, i don't want that <laughs> yeah we've never had one of those bites so all right i'm not we never will I'm not convinced but i i you know i the, the more i look into it the more I find that they they relying on the fiddle back identification is not a hundred percent. Yeah. And that one seems to have a light colored fiddle on its back. Yeah, it has that line. Yeah. Coming out from. But its I'm not, yeah. Head. I'm just I can't be sure. So he's gonna go bye bye. Bye bye. So we'll try to get one more look at this guy before he goes bye bye, and I'm not gonna show what happens to him. Because I don't want PETA knocking at my door, okay? People for the ethical treatment or of arachnids. <laughs> Can you see? Anyway. All right. 
Remember that movie, Arachnophobia, from the, what was that, the early 90s? Yeah. He's rubbing his fangs on me. So that, they vary in size and color. You, that one's a little darker. That one's a lot fatter. It depends on when they feed. Got nice fangs on it. Hmm. But one last thing uh, about the, going back to the trapping or abating the spider situation. Uh, I was thinking of uh, bed bugs. That's a really good way to get bed bugs too, is if you have, if you ever have an infestation with bed bugs, it's a real trick to get rid of them. But it, I think I was just, it just occurred to me that what if you put double stick tape like under here, all the way around your bed or somewhere down here, yeah, it would could be an eyesore, but it, it's a great way uh, sticky traps are a great way to trap bed, all kinds of insects. Uh, but bed bugs, definitely. So that's something to think of. And I've heard of infestations of brown recluse spiders under and behind headboards, under beds and behind headboards. So something to think about if you have a problem, consider that. And maybe also diatomaceous earth all under your bed, sprinkled all under your bed could help a lot. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. 20 pounds. A lot. Yeah. yeah. 20 yeah. pounds probably. Yeah. Um, we're ramping up slowly, but actually the last couple weeks it's been getting busy. So yeah, no, love you're, it. You're a busy girl. It smells like coffee everywhere around here. <laughs> I love Banshee Moon coffee. I think Me it, too. 